Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to BL Madness. Today I'm just here by myself, uh, enjoying some lovely sunshine. And uh, I'm gonna show you where I am quite quickly because you're probably confused a bit, maybe. So yes, uh, it basically is a quarry. Well, I don't know actually, it's basically a failed attempt like at a road. You see that? So guys, as you've read from the title, uh, I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't buy the Collective C1 Raw. And uh, I'm just gonna go through all the things right now. I'm only talking about the Raw version of the Collective C1. The reason for that is because I don't have any experience in the Black C1, the Red C1, the Galaxy, the Galaxy C1. Okay, I just stopped for a minute because I can see a few people way, way in the distance. Can you see that white dot moving? But yeah, as I've already said before, I am only talking about the the raw version of the C1 because I don't have any experience with the other ones. I'm not saying that all of the collected, like the C1, the bike, the you know, I'm not saying the any collector C1 is bad. I'm just saying that the raw one, in my opinion, is the worst one to get. Right guys, so if you do not like rust on your bike, I swear to God, please don't get this. Please don't get this. This bike has rusted so much that basically what ha what's been happening to me, and this reoccurs like every so often, is that the cranks get rusty and then they become really like almost mushy and like really sticky just to pedal and it's it, it gets annoying but if you keep riding you can kind of break through that and this bolt guys this bolt is the most annoying bolt in the world it is rust you can tell how much it's rusted already Guys, basically, if you don't want to buy uh, that rust, do not get the C1. I'll probably have some pictures of uh, all the rust, like all the worst parts and all that. But yeah, if you don't like rust, don't get this. So the next issue I have with this is that obviously you can tell that uh, this is not the stem that goes on the that comes with the C1. As you can tell, this is a federal element stem. The reason I got that. It's because the stem they give you is so slippery. Like, I, when I was learning bunny hops a few months ago, I tried going for the highest one, and I leapt up in the air, as you, you know, as you would. I landed, and no joke, the bars literally came, like, you see the angle they are now? They were literally touching the frame. And as you can probably tell, none of the wheels I have on this one are the original ones now the reason for that is because the wheels they don't really well they just don't last they break really easily so another thing you've probably seen by now is that these are not the same grips that the c1 comes with why because again those grips wear down so easily if you basically live in the rain 24 7 like i do then the grips will just wear down, the, they have no texture on it, and another thing, and I know this is a bit weird, but they smell kind of funny. Yeah, uh, and also they do not come with bar ends, I had, to, I had to get them. And another issue, guys, these, as you can tell, are not the same pedals. Why? Well, because the plastic ones that they give you break, they are absolutely terrible for grip. Like, I, I suggest if you are going to get this, whatever you do, just the, the slippery pedals that they give you, they, well, they're slippery, so just, yeah, just, just get metal ones, get plastic ones that have spikes in them, that stab into your foot so that your foot doesn't go anywhere. And guys, as you can probably tell, I was talking about the back brake earlier. Now, I don't have that anymore. Have I gone brakeless? Did I choose to go brakeless? Um, no, I I did not. So I would have a back brake here because I ride with brakes because 
Uh, I'll just show you around, but if you can't tell, there is a massive hill here. There is a massive hill there, and there's, a, there's massive hills everywhere. So I need a back brake when I'm going down those hills. So what happened to the brake, you might ask? Well, uh, to put it in short, it snapped. Yes, that's right, the wire completely just snapped off, and it was the most terrifying feeling when it actually happened. And, yeah. Also, I have mentioned this before in a different video, and I know it's kind of a small thing, but the seat is seriously uncomfortable. This has barely any padding. It is pretty much all plastic, apart from this leather thing. But I know some of you guys in the comments in like uh, the first video I done with the C1, a lot of you guys said in the comments, oh, you don't need a seat. My question to you is, if you do not need a seat for a BMX, then why do they sell them? And another thing, if they sell them, and they're comfortable, then, well, what's your point? And of course, for you more observant viewers, as you can tell, oh, my, the lighting's a bit weird. As you can probably tell, look at this monstrosity. Look, I will show you the, the most terrifying thing. Hold on one minute, let me just get on the bike. And then just... So what happened here? So yeah guys, that is why I do not believe you should get the raw C1 because it rusts and the parts are a bit eh. I mean, there I can't. There's only two, three, four original parts. Uh, technically five and six, seven. So there are only seven original and eight, and there are only eight original parts on this bike. The rest of it is just stuff I've just had to grab from spares so i know uh, a lot of you in my other videos have uh, said oh take care of your bike more uh, and all that basically hate i get a lot of hate but uh i do take care of my bike guys like when it's so obviously if you don't know it rains here a lot that's probably why it's rusty and another reason why this particular one is so rusty is the first time I actually cleaned it, I actually cleaned it with a jet wash. So I probably mucked it up in some way and probably ruined it for life. But anyway, I do take care of it. I do service it like whenever my brakes used to get worn down, I always used to put... Shut up! Whenever the brakes used to wear down and uh, I would always go to the bike shop. I would always get a new pair of brake pads and I would always put it on. I would always make sure that the chain was not loose like i do take care of it guys and it's just unfortunate that it rains here and it has to my bike has to sit in the bike locks at my school and my school does not have like oh uh, how do i explain this the school the school's bike locks are just like out in the open they don't have like a roof over it also i want to say another thing i have been wanting to make this video for literally ages a lot like quite a few months now but the reason I didn't is because uh, Ryan Taylor and Harry Main basically they kind of had this beef with Mafia bikes and collective bikes anyway um, and if Ryan Taylor is watching this uh, sorry but yeah sorry um, I'm only saying that the raw C1 the collective raw C1 is the is the bad one. Uh, I've heard actually that the uh, the black one and the red one they're really good. Anyway, uh, if you are going to get the C1, get the red one, get the black one. Don't get this one. This one's absolutely terrible. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. So yeah, just base all your opinions in the comments. So I would like to thank you guys for watching this. I uh, hope you like, hope you subscribe, hope you share with all your friends if you have any. 
and guys that is the collector c1 i'm not going to get rid of it just yet yet but i will consider it thanks for watching this video and peace